Hello, I'm Herm Gailey. We're here with a three-year-old filly we call Josie. She was in quite a few of these videos as a yearling. As a two-year-old, she was absent because she had a pretty serious eye condition that required a lot of treatment. That's under good control now, and we're getting ready to start her. And I thought I'd take this opportunity to do a little experiment that I've taken to doing with my young horses. The fact is, there's no right answer. There's no pass-fail here, but the horse's response tells you something about the nature of the relationship you're gonna have with them. To explain, I'm gonna get her out here and just move her around me on the perimeter of the round pen, and after she's gone around a few times, kinda of let a little of the air out of her, she was worked a little bit earlier today by somebody else, I'm gonna go let all the energy out of my body, sit down on that blue muck bucket right over there, and see what she does. And there are three main ways that horses will react. First, some of them will do kind of what they've been trained to do in the round pen, and that is stop and face and stand. Those horses tend to be more self-contained, more self-reliant, they're obedient, they're self-confident. Then there's some of them that just keep on running around or wandering around or they find some other place to take their mind and they blow you off. Those are my least favorite kind of horses. They got a little ADHD kind of going on. Then there are the horses that see you do that and they say, oh, well, why don't I go right on in? And they come to the center. That's an interesting response. And if I was going to predict, though I have no particular certainty here, I would predict that that might well be what this mare does. This only works for real informational purposes the first time you do it. After that, they can get to learn in what a response is. But I'll tell you that Mike, the gelding that we started on camera last year, did pretty much what I thought. He turned and faced. He was comfortable in his own space. He is a business horse by nature. He wasn't going to encroach on me. He'd have stood there as long as I was just sitting in the center. But he wasn't going to come in and lick my neck either. This one, I think, is more likely to say, hey, we got a little thing going on here, and I kind of take some of my confidence from you, and I like being with you. I'm going to come on in. So let me put her out there. Now, I will tell you that I just had a surgery on my right arm. This is about how I have to use it. And so I'm just gonna move her around here to the right using my left hand to move her. Probably won't work both sides, although I might a little bit, because I, I can't really use a stick or direct her with this bad wing. But after she's moved around a little bit, I'm gonna try that. I'm gonna sit down, just sort of let all the air out, all the energy face away from her, see what happens. So here we go. <sighs> so I'm gonna move her around here with a little bit of energy. You'll notice that her grooming could leave a lot to be desired she spent the winter living like a horse. It's warm today, it's wonderful, but she's still shaggy. She's got some mud that it's kind of like adobe. It's baked on. So she's pretty much what a horse is when they've been living on their own. Maybe what a horse is meant to be. We'll wait till later in the summer to see what she's gonna look like. So I may just step her up, see if she'll lope a trip or two. Then pretty quick, when we get about halfway around the pen, and she's looking in now, so maybe that's a good sign my prediction's gonna come true. 
and I'm just going to drop everything. See if I hear footsteps. What do you think? You going to come up? And it makes me feel kind of good that the good place here is out here with me. It's all about energy and connection. I was moving her with some energy. I had energy in my body. And I let all the air out of myself. <sighs> Nothing lets out your energy like an exhale. I sat down and she said, huh, I guess I'm on my own, but I'd rather be with you. And in she came. That's a good feeling. So that's just a peculiar little experiment I like to do. I'm really happy with how these two young horses responded, though they responded very differently. The colt stopped, stood, kind of like a Marine would. He was, he was on guard. He was on duty. He was in his own space. And this filly's saying, hey, I'm going to rely on you a bit. So I know with him, going out across country and doing things, he's going to be self-reliant. He's going to make up his own mind about things. This mare, she's going to need support from the rider, but she's going to want it and accept it. So either one's good. They're just very different. No two alike. That's what makes this fun. Till next time.